Yeah, and tonight her family is speaking with News Channel 8 about the honor. Linny Supal joins us now. I can just mm -hmm. imagine how hyped up this family is about oh, the recognition. Absolutely. Unbelievable. As you can imagine, they are over the moon with excitement, calling this a comeback year for Coco. And we had a chance to chat with our grandmother. She is sharing the exact moment when she knew Coco's talent on the tennis court would beat the odds. And I think because you are so special, you have the honor of wearing this jacket during the opening ceremony and oh. being the flag bearer with LeBron James. <laughs> a moment tennis phenom Coco Goff will never forget. Coco starting off the Olympics in the spotlight, selected as the female flag bearer for the opening ceremony representing Team USA. She's calling the announcement surreal. So many incredible people, even now I get emotional thinking about it, but so many incredible people um, just think that I'm worthy of this and it, it means a lot, truly. But I was like, what? 4,500 miles away in Florida, Coco's grandmother proud, beaming with joy. I know she's proud, we all proud, the whole city is proud, her whole church family, I mean, you just wouldn't believe. Coco, born and raised in the Sunshine State, Delray Beach is her hometown. Take me through the moments when you knew she was a star. I knew very early as a baby, believe it or not, that she was special. At just six years old, the tennis court became Coco's second home, her talent quickly soaring to new heights. This is when she won Wimbledon, and then this is one when she was really young at a tournament. Now Coco Goff is going for gold, and the entire country is cheering her on. You can change the world with your racket. When it's your time, nobody can stop you. I believe I can do certain things, and I definitely would never have believed or predicted that I could do this. <laughs> We are all so proud of Coco. She was actually picked for Team USA tennis during the last Olympics in Tokyo, but right before she left, she tested positive for COVID. So she wrote herself a letter as motivation, and she says it's proof that sometimes the darkest moments could lead to bigger moments later on. Wow. What, what an a, awesome what full circle story. moment. Yeah. 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 And Lydia, it's important to note that the flag bearers are not even chosen by a committee. They're actually chosen by other Team USA Olympians. That is so cool. So what did Coco say about being able to walk with LeBron in the ceremony? Well, she is a huge Miami Heat fan, so she's <laughs> been to many games. She's seen him in person, but she's never actually met him. And he actually wrote her some words of encouragement over the years. Wow. So she's really looking forward to getting to know him a little bit better. I think that's even more impressive, too, mm -hmm. when your peers are the ones saying this is the person. For sure. 100%. Yeah. For sure. Very cool. We wish you well. Thank you so much. Yeah. Great story. The Olympics.